everyone. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute since we've been back in filming. Um, welcome to the new and I suppose improved Discovery Garden or our homestead in beautiful Wentworth, New Hampshire. Um, so I suppose, first of all, you're all wondering why I'm standing next to and vanning a trash can. Well, I'll show you. So one of the most important things on our homestead currently, as we obviously build, are our lovely chickens. We have a flock of 11 chickens, six girls or hens, and five beautiful, adorably silly roosters. Um, and I'm sure most of you are all aware that right now there is an increase in the prices of eggs when you go to your local market. Now, for us, we get our own eggs from our chickens, but unfortunately, one of the number three reasons for the increase in prices is a decline in egg production, specifically over the winter. What happens is because it gets cold, and here in New Hampshire, we can get negative 20 degrees. Now, we haven't had that yet this year, um, but we go down to the very low single digits um, thus far. Of course, February is coming up. It's a whole other story. But what happens is chickens need to stay warm, and to do that, their body begins to focus on that warmth production in their bodies, and less so on egg production. And, you know, so you don't get as many eggs. You get one here or there. But there are a few things that might help with egg production, and that's what we're going to do today. So on this table here, I just got back <laughs> from a shopping excursion to buy more chicken feed. But we're also going to be experimenting, again, we're in the research phase, of adding lots of spice and herbs to their food. Um, so phytogenics, which is spices and herbs, are something we often put on our own food, um, not only to make it more tasty and palatable, but it also has some physiological benefits as well. It can help fight off diseases and build up our immune system. It can help rid our bodies of things that might be unwanted, little pests inside for chickens, deworming. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to mix up our regular feed, but we are going to start um, experimenting and doing some research with different um, herbs and spices that will help them increase egg production potentially, but also to keep them really happy and healthy in the winter. So that's what we're going to do and that's what you're going to see. So I am going to um, start off um, building their food in this trash can and mixing it up. So follow us along while we do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do on the very bottom of the trash can is add their scratch. So I have a big old bag of six grain scratch. Now scratch is really good in the winter um, because it sort of, again, helps to build up some of that heat and energy production. It's like a treat for them, but it's not a staple. You don't wanna just give them scratch unless maybe you experimented with fermenting it and fermenting different grain. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the scratch on the bottom um, and mix it up so that they're not just going after the scratch because they will do that. They will pick through their food and throw all their yummy, healthy, nutritious pellets out looking for that scratch. It's kind of like, I don't know, candy or treats for chickens. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna open up the bag. Of course, just wait till the chicken show when they start finding out exactly what I'm doing. Oh, follow me. We're gonna dump the scratch in. No, oh God, they know. They know. They know. Oh, She's hello. coming. They're all right, so coming. Over here, so you do with that what you will. And what? next. We are going to layer on our pellets. Now, um, we have laying hens, and often you can find a layer pellet, um, but we have roosters too. And the layer pellet doesn't do too much in terms of whole nutrition for them. So we are now switching with our next batch to just an all-around nutritious feed. That looks like dark chocolate. This one? Yeah. He does a little bit look like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is over there. He is one of our roosters. Our roosters are all bantams, which means they're smaller. Go ahead and mix in our pellets. Okay, ladies. Sorry, Mango. Now, what our hopes 
are as we start to research the different foods and mixes that we make and spice mixes that something is something hits something is a win and we can maybe start to figure out a way to produce some of that ourselves either through the spring planting the herbs and spices that help them or buying um, in bulk from somewhere else and then maybe making some small packages to offer locally for folks that want to help with their egg production. Somebody's calling you. Alright, here go the pellets and I feel like I am going to run out of room in this trash can. I should have gotten a big old trash can. Here might be the fun part. We're gonna roll up our sleeves as much as we possibly can, my ladies. <laughs> Throw off your scarves so you can get into it. It's laundry AT, so I got pants inside out and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna get in here and mix it as best I can. It's okay if it doesn't get completely mixed because again, the scratch is on the bottom. And so them having just a little bit of that is good. I'll give it a little mixy, mixy mix. Oh, what are you doing? You're trying to get back into in it. With, yeah, I'm sure they'll jump in with a shovel or something later. Okay, so now some of the other things that we're going to add, and again, I don't know how much room I'm going to have. Um, the other two things that we have on the table is grit. Now, grit is something that helps chickens to digest their food. So chickens are interesting. They have something called a crop. And it's almost like a first stomach, so to speak. So their food goes into the crop and it breaks down a little bit more before it goes in and becomes fully digested. So we give them grit because that goes in there and almost acts like, I think the best way to put it is like little teeth in there, or little tools to help chop up and break down the food. Is that a duck? That is a duck. You can Ducks grit eat grit? A lot of different birds. We give, I give grit and things like that to our cockatoo Sunday. Those of oh. you that remember Sunday is our one-footed cockatoo. Not up here yet with us until we get more of our additions built. Um, okay, so here's the grit. It's rocks. See it? Yeah, it very much looks just like rocks. What and in it? fact, it is crushed granite. What is so granite? Little tiny rock. Ooh, chickens everywhere. Mom, what's granite? It's a type of rock. And actually, New Hampshire is the granite state. Because there is granite everywhere here. Mango! Snowy! Oh! The chocolate baby egg! Tea packs! Alright. Hope! And now the and fun so part again. Loud. A little mixy, mixy, mixy. Cluck Norris! Flame! And again. Starting? Yeah. So give it a little mixy mix. As much as you can. We can, like I said, go back in later with a big shovel or a stick or something. Those rocks look hard. <laughs> okay, and the rocks will also have some great minerals and stuff in it too, which is great for them. And um, particularly Fine, when like we get to the next part, which is crushed oyster shells. Um, they like those? Adds a lot of calcium to their food, especially for oyster our egg layers. Shells. That yeah. looks like hope. It does look like hope. This is the heavy bag. Can I get it? No, I don't. The oyster shells will add calcium, which is important for our egg production. Um, it'll help keep the eggs nice and uh, the shells hard um, and healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a carry. Chicken moves all the way. <laughs> Snowy. Snowy. He's new. He's new. Snowy. Snowy's a boy. Yep, Snowy is our handsome, quiet little boy. Uh, you said quiet, Mom. He is loud. He can be loud, yes, you're correct. Go ahead, Snowy. All right. So That's too Snowy, big for the trash can. You are correct. Are gonna have to just be some, and like I said, right now, we're not getting so many eggs, and we have our roosters, so. So we might get eggs now? Some. We might. I mean, we had a few, but not that many. Not nearly as many as we get in spring, summer, and fall. Hi, Snowy. Snowy's looking at me. Mom, Snowy's looking at me. Snowy! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> See, that's his loud part of himself so when you pick him up. Mixy, mixies again. 
and it's not going to mix up a lot, but when I go in and start scooping it out and putting it in their feeders, it'll become more mixed. All right, so I know it looks unmixed right now, but look at my hands. You see what the calcium does? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so now we're going to start to add some spices. Hen so, Solo doesn't even notice it's there. No, Hen Solo does not. So we have some of our spicier spices, like crushed red pepper. Um, we also have some cinnamon, some garlic. They eat cinnamon? They do. Nice. Like I said, a lot of these are going to help with their digestion. I'm going to share with them. They're, <laughs> it's going to help to keep away any bugs or internal par parasites like worms and things. Um, it's going to give them more energy and things for the, for the winter because we are going to be dipping into some cold. I do have some whole black pepper kernels, but I don't want to give them a ton of them um, because of the size. I don't want to be careful when they're eating them. Can um, I show them Han Solo? I ground cayenne pepper. So Ooh. believe it or not, really hot spicy peppers are perfectly fine for birds because they do not have the same receptors that we have that allow things that are hot and spicy to bother us and be hot and spicy. Can I show so, them Han Solo? You can show them Han Solo, but give me a second. Let me finish with this real okay. quick. Thank you. Some chili powder again. Um, let's see, what are the, now I have just the regular black pepper ground. Um, so some of these things here, like I said, are going to be the more spicy things that go in and kind of get rid of the internal parasites and hope what are you doing in my, or BB, what are you doing in my purse? So we're going to just start, just start dumping all this in. Let's, I guess we'll start with the black pepper. But first you off and thing. That's her solo. Did you lose the video again? I heard a ding. No. I put it back on. All right. This is Han Solo. He's a boy. Although I named him Hen Solo. But I named a girl Clock Norris. So, not that bad. Black pepper. And like I said, as we Ugh, that's fly. with these mixes, that's and what lot. works for our girls, we will start to develop what is best. And maybe we can start making some offerings and to boys. our community. Can I mix? Well, let me mix right now because okay. I want you to kind of not drop anything or but I appreciate the, the help. Oh. So a little bit of mixy mix. This is the fun part. It just feels so good. It's so therapeutic to get your hands in something quote unquote dirty. Alright, so a little bit of black pepper. Let's do some red pepper. Hello girls. I also have I didn't open yet and I don't know about room for it, but I have a lot of the um crushed oyster shells, but I have some omega egg make here. It's again more fatty acids more nutritional things that help with the eggs, but Hi, Snowy. we get all these herbs and spices in there. Snowy's at my feet again. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> so, ooh. so mm. as we're doing this, I mean, be sure, I know it's like, oh, everybody does it. Feel free to share the video. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe, to, sub subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to some of our Facebook and Instagram. So you can follow along. We're really behind on updating you all with our progress on our homestead. Um, but that's good because we've been so busy building. We built our addition so we can put our wood stove on our first camper. Um, we got to build the second addition on the other camper. So we've been a little too busy to, to film, unfortunately, um, so that you all can follow along. But we really appreciate you following along as working on a homestead is a full-time job. So our hopes and our thoughts are that if we can do other things besides going out and getting a full-time job and taking us away from our homestead and farm, that we can... That smells. It smells peppery. Like I said, you're gonna notice it. It's gonna kinda go in and woo, spicy, but they don't, chickens and other birds don't have that. What? Yeah, they don't what? have those same sort of Nora You know how they jump super high? I feel like they're just gonna jump up on the rim right here and just be like, peck, 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 peck. <laughs> peck, 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 peck. Cause they do like to do that a lot. Especially the girls and Han Solo. Ooh, that is spicy. It is. It yeah, is I'm going. sniffing it into my nose. Ooh, boy. I'm going to mix it. All right. <coughs> mixy, mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy, mixy. As you can see, the pepper is going under everything. Let's see, cayenne, dark chili, oh, the peppers. Oh God, they, they're eating some that spilled. Oh, they are. Some of because it's a very children friendly page, 
we don't want any comments that might not be appropriate. So if you have comments or concerns, we always love to learn. We're always learning. This is what we're doing. We're learning. We're experimenting. We encourage you to reach out to us, email, Facebook, things like that. But um, unfortunately, you won't be able to do that on YouTube. So, okay, let's Mom. add some Italian seasoning. Mom, what? I got pepper in my eye. Oh boy, careful with that. Let's add maybe some um, Italian seasoning and maybe Ooh, is some that basil. Is that I also parsley? have oregano. Ooh, sorry, mango. And then I'm not going to add, but I also have, again, more, more vitamins and minerals for a poultry is booster. Is that parsley? Let's, this is parsley. Again, Good. these are all... I accidentally kicked mango because I didn't see it. Oh, mango. He is so small. All herbs that aid in the health of chickens and their egg production. So, very important to us. You put really, this on spaghetti? Not just, of course you do. Really not just because you want eggs, but you want them to be healthy. They're very important to me. I went away for five days recently. And oh my gosh, I miss my chicken so much. Can I have that please, Lily? Thank yeah. you. Um, I love my chicken so much. So for us, there are other ways to encourage egg production throughout the winter, um, such as giving them more artificial light throughout the day to, to simulate longer days. Um, and you can also add additional heat to the coop, but chickens have their own little heaters. And since we have 11 of them, they don't need too much extra heat. And I don't want to give them artificial light. I want their bodies to focus on their natural processes. So I don't want to sort of artificially, I don't want to say trick, it's a strong word, but artificially kind of encourage the egg laying. I'd rather uh, do it naturally, which is why we're doing it this way. Mommy? Yeah? Could I just say something about what they are? Sure. They are human vacuums. They are human vacuums. All right, so we're gonna we're not gonna do all the parsley. So I think this is gonna be it for our mix. We'll get hey. a container. So I'm gonna maybe uh, mix it up a little bit. Look at that! Then, a light shade of green and a dark shade of green. I know. Forest so... green and grass green. <laughs> yeah, our grass definitely is that color right now. Yes. So do a little bit more mixing, and then I'm gonna get a container. Can I smell the parsley. <clears throat> I know I love parsley. You can smell it. Yummy. Look, put it to the camera. It's like smell a vision. <laughs> I wish there was such a thing as smell of vision Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, so we're going to kind of leave that as is. I'm going to get a scoop. Um, I think I have a scoop over on our trailer. Ooh, this feels so nice. And I'm going to start scooping it out. Lily, I need you to focus a little bit. Thank you, love. Okay. Um, into their feeder for them. Um, now, over the winter as well, we get a lot of freezing ice and, and water. They're eating everything so, that's spilled. Some parsley spilled parsley. and they're eating it. Um, we get a lot of frozen water, um, but we don't use any water heaters or anything. In fact, we're not on the electrical grid. We're using all solar. Um, so what we do is use sort of a, a rubberized water bowls, and they're easy to just kind of smash the water out or the ice out um, and then add fresh in the morning. And sometimes we do add special things to their water too, but they also just like plain fresh water. Okay, girls and boys. And boys. Set that down. I took and now because a lot of the mix is on the check, top, check. I'm gonna kind of come in down below so that I make sure I'm getting pellets as well. And scratch. Well, the scratch is way down, but I wanna get pellets in there mixed That should be good. Too. Oh my God, they like it. Of course they like it. Give them to baby. And of course we supplement their feed. They're like, mm. Lily said it perfectly. They're a little vacuum. They eat everything. So Even we dirt. Give them, <laughs> we give them our leftovers or food that um, we're no longer eating. Like they mac and cheese. They love it. Table scraps. They like mac and cheese. Funny enough, their favorite foods, so some of you may be like, yo, their favorite foods are they love the leftover cat food in the morning <laughs> and dun, 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 chicken. It. They love chicken. I know, super gross. Cannibals! But they love it, they love chicken. So they eat all kinds of things, but this is kind of more of their staples. So I'm gonna go down in here, making sure I'm getting I don't, pellets. I don't think they I'm know that they're actually eating themselves. Mix it, no, I'm sure they do not. But to them it's delicious and nutritious and they eat eggs too. Um, yeah, when we, Sometimes our ants have chickens, and when their eggs aren't that good, we crack them and they eat them. Yep. So get down in again where the pellets are. Are you gonna get the? And uh, the more grit? we kind of dwindle down on this big trash can, the more 
that they are going to get more of the. the oh God, they love it. They're fighting um, each other for they it. Love it. So we're about to be done on this video. Like I said, the importance of us making this video was to really start to focus on our homestead because a lot of you have been asking. Um, and I appreciate it. We miss you all. Um, it's an adventure for us, but we love it and wouldn't change it for the world. Um, and I want to encourage you to kind of follow along with us, help us sustain our homestead. Um, like I said, by sharing and commenting and just really sharing love. And so before we end, we'll kind of finish scooping some of this out. But then I promised Lily I could put her um, from behind the camera. So what we'll do is we'll walk you down to one of our favorite spots below the falls on our property. So like I said, we're in Wentworth, New Hampshire, and our property has 10 beautiful acres with forest. We have a beautiful wetland. We have a beautiful meadow um, and we love it. And we're just starting to build. We're both, we're living in two campers right now. Um, and we're gonna be building a home in a few years maybe if we decide to build a home, but we're loving it. We're loving living on solar and composting toilets and oh, I just can't talk about it enough. So Could I say something? Go ahead, baby. I would like to say, in the next video, we are going to be putting chicken costumes, chicken hats, on oh, all of them. Yeah, our chickens dress up often. They wear sweaters sometimes to keep them warm. Yeah, we put sweaters on them for Halloween. We had little costumes like sharks, and um, we had little shark costumes and unicorn and butterflies, and we also had a little lobster. And I got, I get, keep getting stuff from my elf. It's like, um, I got like these chicken hats, and for Christmas I got wooden chicken hats, and they're really cool. So next video we're gonna video them with their hats. All right. So I am going to just flatten this out a little bit. Like I said, as it kind of goes down, it'll get more and more and more stirred. It'll always be something sort of new and exciting for them. Um, but I'm going to steal the camera now and I'm hey. going to turn it on Lily. And we are going to take you down to our favorite place as we say goodbye. Um, so again, as we're walking, <laughs> super stereotypical, but please. Oh yeah, this is her little winter fairy village, village in, our, in our outdoor coop. Here's our solar. We're going to be upping our solar. We're eventually going to be doing a wind turbine. There's our coop. And when you see the falls, we're going to be eventually doing um, a hydroelectric from our dam to supplement as well. Um, and pumping water up from our dam in a, it's sort of called a ram pump so that we can get more water up here as well to use for showering and cleaning and dishes and filtering for our own drinking water so okay. oop, you're not in there there you are uh -huh. okay so it's kind of frozen since it's winter now but it is running water and flowing water so actually it's very 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 hard but <laughs> so you can probably hear it it gets loud especially when we get some good snow melt we've had some warmer weather here which is this surprising is our rock area we have a rock area we have another beautiful rock area up there that we do meditation and sort of labyrinthy well, we, connection. When we moved here, we went to the creek and we saw all this beautiful rock wall with oh, yeah. on it. And it's right here next to the creek. Yeah, we have three old foundations on the property with lots of old treasures to dig up. So we will be digging them up, repurposing some of those, and that'll be some of the things that we offer um, for purchase, as well as other collectibles and things to, again, help supplement so we don't have to get a job full time. And, and, and things like we talked about making the chicken feed and maybe selling that to local community or folks that want it um, as well. And then come spring, we're open to new ideas. Goats, guinea hens, <laughs> all that kind of fun stuff. Bunnies and puppies. Bunnies. Well, yeah, we'll do some fiber animals. So this is our falls before we say goodbye because I know this has been a long one, but we're way overdue in updating you all isn't it so beautiful oh my gosh i can't tell you how much new england winters mean to me and how beautiful and peaceful they are um so we'll end it on lily's beautiful face and we Wait. love you all okay go ahead uh, it usually isn't this deep but everything is overflowing because ice is pushing it all around and it's pushing it down the dam and now it is so deep it's usually like this part's deep and everything else is shallow yeah and everything else is getting bigger. Yeah. And this is all the ice. Usually it's not here. It's all covering the rocks and making pathways. And if you walk a little bit forward, there's a lot of ice on the rocks. Okay. All it's right. Bicycle Great. Um, oh, believe it or not, we also swim in here, even in this time of year. You get a quick cold dip and it feels wonderful. 
So we love you all. Please stay tuned. Please, <laughs> I giggle every time this, I sound so silly. Like, subscribe, share it, support us, donate, help us out. We love you all. And you know what? Come visit us anytime. We're open here. Come, we miss you all. Um, and we hope to see you soon and we will do more videos. I so promise. Love you. Bye.